We're about to get started in Three, game one. Two, okay, so yeah. the real game one. The real game one, winner's side, round one. Raw Douglas, Hara Poyo. We got the main mains coming out here. Yeah, actually going the characters that they play. Let's go. Just raw skill. Aha. Uh, I did hear from Douglas that possibly TNF uh, or Raw will be going back to TNF after the season, but enough about Cruz. Yeah. It's just 1v1 right now, and it's honestly looking like uh, Douglas has a lot more help on his hand than Poyo does. Poyo looking a little bit lonely there with all those Pikmin on his side. Yeah, he fights for his friends, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Uh, I'm liking this pick uh, probably for a Poyo more than Douglas. Yeah, Poyo, you can't you can't worry too much about spacing when you're fighting a zoning character because you can only get a hit every once in a while, and you don't want it to be dependent on if you space that one hit correctly. Uh, great dodge on that grab there. He's going way he's going really hard off stage trying to catch Douglas because he knows Olimar has a really weak recovery coming back from the stage. Oh, almost gets the shield breaker as well. Just the tip of that. Gotta watch out when you're on that platform. Watch out for shield breakers. Oh, Man grabs. Oh goodness! Did you see how far that stretched? Just barely snatching Poyo up and just keeping him in that disadvantage state. Actually longer than a Monday and catches him with the F smash on his landing there. <laughs> <laughs> I had to I had to get the play by play. What? <laughs> okay, Poyo with a slight lead right now. He wants to let that rage work for him in this matchup, but Okay, missing the back air. It's gonna be looking. really bad for Lucina dealing with Pikmin because there's not too many things you can commit to, mm -hmm. in, as like aerial wise, to just kill them, besides probably jab, which is very safe. Yeah. Ooh, the interception from Douglas. Probably push him too far, yep. Uh, if Poyo can just replicate that in one of his edge guards, you know Lucina very adept at just keeping the opponent yeah. off stage, resetting out the, uh, the ledge, and then just keep fairing him back here. You can here. see that right now. He's uh -huh. doing a great job keeping Douglas in the corner. Douglas just now escaping, getting control of that stage. He's now he's gonna let him down. Yeah. Okay. Good chase on his landing. He's getting easy percent with the Pikmin there, and now this match is evened up very quickly. He still has room to, you know, strengthen up his Pikmin lineup because right now he doesn't have too many heavy hitters. But yeah. one, of these, one of these days it'll get him. Okay, okay, there goes the purple and just the F smash. Didn't even need it. He read the the shield drop <laughs> throughout the F smash with confidence and sealed out the stock. All right. Poyo with his <laughs> orange juice right there. Rose next in the background. <laughs> He was only visible for like one second. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what are those glasses? My man actually looks like Elton John. What a hello. It's actually time. I'm messing up my... Uh, Someone's having a good time over there. Um, yeah, score, got, yeah, update yeah. the score just a second. Whoa. All right. Okay, he's going to take him to Battlefield. I really understand this pick. If you ever play against like... Douglas or a zoning character in general, mm -hmm. do not take them to a flat stage because then you're going to have to fight that projectile pressure straight on instead of changing up levels mm -hmm. and then forcing them into a bad situation by making them jump. Yeah, with a character like this, Olimar, who does a lot with Pikmin throws, does a lot with grabs and pivot grabs, it's very useful to change up your vertical movement, get above them, below them, things like that. Just think about it. You make Olimar or Alf jump, then he's not going to be able to consistently catch your landings with these pivot grabs, because that's a thing that Douglas really likes to do to build up that percent. And he's more, you know, susceptible to aerials, and you can catch his air dodge with the landing trap. Just different things here and there that really make platforms very viable in this matchup. Indeed. Here we're seeing some of the same stuff we saw in Game 1. Poyo trying to keep Douglas in the corner. And every time Douglas takes control of center stage, or gets a, on the ground game, he's doing a lot of damage on Poyo. He's really evening it up. It's really back and forth. It's right now going super deep. Both these guys are not afraid to commit to an option just to get the kill way earlier than Absolutely. we both expect. Okay, just damage. Down throw to up here. It's kind of sad though, because when you're playing Lucina, you can't really expect to confirm besides what? Short hop, <laughs> side B into F yeah. smash. I mean, that's not easy to do. Lucina really has to work for her kills, yeah. And that, she didn't have to work for that one. That one just kind of fell into the That was her a lap. 9 to 5 job. Douglas <laughs> just air dodged right into the. Oh, okay. Okay. The firing right back with the F smash. Yeah. I, I like it. You can't be afraid to gun it, or else your opponent's going to get to 200%, and then uh -huh. you're just going to be like, oh wow, now I'm eating all this percent from rage. Alright, Poyo building the lead on the second stock. Trying to avoid the 2 0. Douglas, he's a game up right now. Ooh, he couldn't get the top platform. That could have been a way harder punish. Yeah. He could have got a grab follow up. Sometimes in the heat of the battle, he can't win. Really the heat things. of the moment. Tell him what is hard. <laughs> Let's go. Douglas.
Dragon is staying on the ground. He doesn't want to challenge Poi on the air, and then losing stage control, but getting it right back. Neither player is getting too much of an advantage here, but like Douglas does have that one game cushion, so I'm I'm betting Poyo is uh, sweating a little bit. Yeah. Okay, nice down there to keep himself safe. He has a chance here. One more of those. Set. That could be it. Yeah. Yeah, you, you also gotta notice after he commits to that aerial and he doesn't touch the ground, he's he's in free fall. That was a free punish. Oh my goodness! Oh, he's not, he's not dead either! <laughs> Thank you, Battlefield! That wow. was... He's not dead. Oh. It's Battlefield. Great DI. Great that was DI. super interesting. Instead of going for the back air to edge guard, Poyo actually went for the up B and then chased him with the up air after. This is crazy. He's and missing then the a lot of these stage spikes, too. Like, yeah. every, every time he tries to go off stage to get the stage spike, Douglas is just latching on uh, before he can even, you know position himself and then he just loses that and then loses stage control and that's not good when you have a character like Alf that can just get on stage down smash or F smash your recovery so they're still on eight player smash I just want to remind you guys <laughs> they're anticipating a party there should have been more people here we, we would have yeah. done an eight player smash event absolutely eight player smash side event three v <laughs> four v four teams let's go okay so going to game three So going to the game three, Poyo Douglas. Very back and forth, these players, very even. I'm surprised I'm not seeing Douglas do more of the up throw conversions because before when I was watching Douglas, he was doing up throw into like up air and then reading and back air. Yeah. But she's only getting at least one hit off his grab right now. There, see, there, there we, we go. go. Up throw. That's wow. still confirmed at like, what, 70? Yeah, he's starting off super strong in this game. I think it's probably the stage pick. FD. Poyo doesn't really have a lot, uh, a lot of space to run to to avoid these Pikmin and these pip grabs. There's nowhere for him to land. This is exactly yeah. why you ban this. Look at the percent that he's already at. They, like he has to space himself out while avoiding Pikmin and uh, all these tether grabs. Like it's very difficult. This is a great counter pick by uh, uh, Douglas. I almost said Edgar. Yeah, it's so <laughs> he's not wearing. I know Edgar tags. doesn't play this character, <laughs> but he's like. Oh, two purples in the lineup and a red just to do that damage is super scary. He's got the dream team. If he pulls a blue, then it's oh. over. Oh, uh, yellow. Just that horizontal pressure the whole stage just by throwing those purple Pikmin. Wow, Poyo, fearless. He's attacking Douglas, who knows it has to be like that. You gotta make the most out of a stock before it's gone, so he knows if he goes in now, he'll be heavily rewarded <gasps> for oh, it. Oh, the trade! With the backup, he can't get back! He He's so many heavy, he can't make it back! Oh my goodness! He had too many, the purples. When you have the fat <laughs> Berthas, I mean, there's... The big Berthas there. You gotta drop the load, like... <laughs> we're, like we're gonna <laughs> drop the load! We're going to... <laughs> the SpongeBob. We gotta drop the load! <laughs> Shout out to SpongeBob, let's go. What did they drop? They dropped the. They dropped like a whole food care package. The food, yeah, the food care package to yeah. SpongeBob, who's in the forest. Let's go. <laughs> Douglas had to drop the load. He was visibly upset there. He was like, oh. Yeah, he had a great lead, and obviously we all felt like he was going to get back, but yeah. just two purples? That's too heavy. That's got to hurt, but he's still building back, uh, building up that same lead that he had. Again, that FD counter pick working in his favor. Doing a great job of controlling the ground. See, yeah, look at Boyle. Just look at how hard Pikmin. it is for him to just fight the Pikmin itself. Yeah. And then you've got to factor in all these all these grabs and then aerials coming at your face. You can't focus on the Pikmin, but then again, you don't want to take yeah. all that free percent. You can't just let him hit you, but then again, you can't... Focus all your time on hitting them. Very good for Douglas here. Looking to clean up the stock. Doesn't have any purples in the lineup, but he's still applying a lot of pressure here in the corner. He He's in center stage, but he still has him in the corner. That's crazy. Not only has a purple and a blue, so he's going to have to watch out for that. Throw oh. Kill. oh, never mind, it's dead. Yeah. Oh, he got another one. It was a scary taxation situation there. Look at all this pressure. Alright, classic. Just down smash the ledge. Not going to get the two though. And here's Poyo's chance. He's going on some damage. It's not cut out. I want to see something fearless come out from Poyo. Because staying far back is not working out for him right now. He has to get out of this corner. He's got to make this a close fighting game. And the two purples. And then there we go. That's two times that we saw Douglas just be able to run up with the yellow Pikmin and get that F smash right in his face. Right, that's a call up. out if I've ever seen one. You run up, you're like, okay, they're not going to shield anymore. Why? Because why not? Why not? <laughs> just yeah, not yeah, shield. Yeah, absolutely. Why not?